My name is Father Michael Stala. I am the spiritual director of Hope's Garden. And today we're talking about being safe with Jesus. You know, it does make a lot of sense that we talk about this topic. In our groups, a lot of us have had experiences about being with people that we trusted and we weren't that safe. What ends up happening is, of course, you know, then we project that. We imagine that if this person I trusted and then took advantage of my trust hurt me in some way, then I shouldn't feel safe with people anymore. I should protect myself. And then along comes this Jesus. And this Jesus is a real person. Although I might not be able to see Jesus the way I see other people in this world, although I might not be able to hear him the way I do with other people in the world, I know him to be very real. And I also know that Jesus is very powerful. So now being with a person who's very powerful, and then I am asked to trust him. That immediately does this association. Well, the last person I trusted used their power against me in such a way that made me unsafe. So now I protect myself. While that might be true for a lot of people in the world, we do need to protect ourselves to a certain degree uh, at all times. Uh, it changes when we reach Jesus. Now, there are people that we bring into our inner circles that we allow to uh, be comfortable with. Uh, but when it comes to Jesus, because we have had these other experiences with other people, uh, sometimes we feel unsafe or at least protected against him. You can actually be yourself with Jesus. He already knows who you are. I think about Adam and Eve in the garden, and uh, the, after they had did, done the original sin, they hid themselves. And God comes into the garden looking for them. And he says, Adam, Eve, where are you? They say, hiding. He says, why are you hiding? Because we are naked. We're afraid. Who told you you were naked? So their nakedness is a sign of vulnerability. And they feel vulnerable and they hide to protect themselves. But you can't really hide from God. Think about how silly that would be to play hide and seek with God. God, God can see everything. And so it doesn't make any sense. And yet, nonetheless, we kind of like instinctually want to hide our vulnerabilities from God. But if you really believe that God is good and loves you, slowly we begin to let that guard down. Now, that gives some of us anxiety. I need to protect myself, especially when it comes to my vulnerabilities, my true feelings. But allowing for the Lord to come into that space, to open our hearts to him and to be vulnerable with the Lord is not putting us in danger in any way. This is one of the reasons why God is so gentle with us. He never forces his way into, into our hearts. He waits until we're ready. And so we work on that. And it might take it might take a while. You keep trying to get used to him being in that space, to be vulnerable, to show him who you really are. I mean, he already knows who you are. He knows what you're hiding. He knows uh, how scared we feel. But he's allowing that little bit of time to be with you so that you begin to feel safe. So there is a difference between feeling safe and being safe. In Jesus' presence, you are safe, but feeling safe is another thing. And so he allows that to slowly kind of sink in the reality that you are safe. Uh, again, I don't want to say that that's true for everyone. There are people in our lives that we know that they get enough information or they see how vulnerable they are. They can be pretty harsh on us, but Jesus isn't like them. That's the whole point. I noticed one of these weird things in history. It, is, it seems like every time that somebody starts some sort of cult, they immediately start taking advantage of their members. And it really comes down to, I get everything I want to the expense of everyone else. Jesus isn't like that. He gave us everything. He gave us his very life. He took nothing. He, he gave them food to eat. He healed their sick, taught them about love. He took nothing. And because of that, he's very different than those people in the world that we do need to protect ourselves against. 
He is not trying to manipulate us. He is not trying to take advantage of us. He is not trying to use our vulnerabilities against us. He's here to give, to give us everything we really need. When we are too protective of ourselves, we don't allow him to give the gift. So it is important that we eventually get to that place where we bring down our defenses. But take your time. He's patient. He's loving. Let it sink in bit by bit. And eventually, when you feel safe, he will give you even more beautiful gifts than you could imagine. I thank you, Lord, and I welcome you into my heart of hearts. I trust you, Lord. Help me to trust you even more. Amen.